Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. I want to introduce all of you guys to Sky. This is Sky, and she lives with my affiliate Mary and her family. And Sky has come to visit because she's going to hopefully be having her very first litter of puppies in a couple of months. Isn't that right? So we are hoping to use Ollie as the daddy for this beautiful litter since Skye and Ollie look about the same. And if we're able to use Ollie, we should get a litter of all short coat white and cream puppies just like Mommy, Skye, and Daddy Ollie. Won't that be beautiful? So today we have to take Skye in for her second progesterone test. Last time we tested her on Saturday and she wasn't quite ready. So they told us to come back in a few days and that's what we're gonna do today and see if she's ready. But here's the dilemma. Ollie is only going to be here just for today. He's got to be back to his home tonight because they are leaving early tomorrow morning and he will no longer be available. So I hope you're ready today. So in order to determine when a female is ready to breed, you have to check her progesterone levels because there's a small window of time when that will take. Her progesterone level, if you're gonna do an AI, needs to be right around eight. And if you're gonna do a different procedure called a TCI, it needs to be a little bit higher, maybe 13 or 14. So when we checked on Saturday, she was only at about two and a half. So we're hoping that she's gone up and hopefully today she'll be ready. Is today the day? I think so. You can't fall asleep. So we've been racking our brain trying to come up with a backup plan just in case she's not ready on this very last day that Ollie's gonna be here. And what we've decided that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to a clinic that actually can collect the semen and put it on an extender, which will hopefully make it last for a couple of days. That way, even if she's not ready today, we'll be viable when she actually is ready, even if Ollie is already gone. So this time we're definitely cutting it really close on the timing. And I'm very grateful for all of the medical personnel that I have to help me. I like to use all the medical technology at my disposal, so we leave nothing to chance. So let's go down to the clinic and find out what her progesterone levels are and see if Sky is ready. So they just finished collecting Skye's blood and they're going to be calling us in about an hour with her progesterone results. So we have this very narrow window of time to run down to Ollie's house and pick him up and bring him back because we only have today to do, to do the collection. She's enjoying her backseat ride. So as you can see, we have picked up Ollie and he's very excited to be with us, but he also wants to be riding in the back of Sky. <sighs> What do you think, Ollie? Did you kind of miss it? <gasps> He's such a good handsome boy. No, you gotta wait. You gotta wait till he gets to the doctor. <laughs> he doesn't wanna wait. He wants to sit with her right now. me back and said Skye's progesterone numbers were a bit low. She would have to wait one more day, but we only had Ollie for today. So we'll collect from Ollie and store it at the lab for 24 hours using an extender. The extender is able to keep semen viable for up to five days. So after 48 hectic hours, four visits to the fertility clinic, 215 miles and six hours of driving, three progesterone tests, one collection and one AI, 
Sky can now visit with my Sweetie Pies and play with them for the remainder of the day. She'll be going back to her family Mary, Holger, and kids. And with fingers crossed, we should have puppies in another nine weeks. This is the process using clinics and medical tests and procedures and utilizing all the veterinarian talent available, leaving nothing to random chance. If you're in need of a phenomenal stud, please DM Jessie on Instagram at chihuahua.ollie.bear for details. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.